if you wanted to right now, uh, you could, because of the internet, spend all day, every day, taking in bad news. Uh, we have the ability to take in so much information, we need to be careful what kind of information we take in. And our brains are not designed to handle that much bad news. It's the bottom line. Uh, now it sounds like I am demonizing the internet. But when I was lying there on the couch trying desperately to make myself do something, anything, I went to the internet. I guess that's fine. It's only something 49. Sleep it when I was lying there on the couch trying desperately to make myself do something, anything, I went to the internet to look for an answer. I googled uh, how do you kick depression in the butt or how do you, something like that. Uh, and uh, I found an article, I think it was on um, selfgrowth.com. I believe the author's name is Rachel Fleischman. I should have researched before I restarted recording, but I will put all those details in the description. Um, she wrote an article, it's like 10 ways to kick depression in the butt. And the real reason I'm making this video, I know it's not a fun subject, the real reason I'm making it is because there's a small chance that this video will help someone who is in exactly the spot I was in. And I think that's probably worth my time and hopefully it's worth yours to watch too because it can happen to anybody. Um, so I'm not gonna go through all 10 points, but I'm gonna talk about the ones that helped me. Number one, exercise. I'm not talking about going to the gym. I could barely get myself off the couch to make a sandwich. There's no way I was getting myself to go for a run or go lift weights or hit the elliptical. It's never gonna happen. What I'm talking about is really simple. Go for a freaking walk. Whether it is to buy milk, a candy bar, cigarettes, I don't give a damn. If you're walking across the street to get that and you're feeling the way I was feeling, don't. Walk right past that first convenience store and keep on going until you hit the next one. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. If you get a little bit of exercise, you will feel better. You know that rush that you get after a run or an intense workout. Your body releases serotonin when you exercise. Not quite so much when it's just a walk, but it'll help. It'll also get you off the couch, which might be enough in and of itself to make you realize <laughs> you, you can, <clears throat> to make you realize you can do better. You don't have to give in to the way you're feeling. Uh, it has also the added benefit of getting you some sun. If you can't go for a walk, go sit in the grass and do it whenever the sun is out. Vitamin D helps you feel better. If your body feels better, you will feel better. Uh, if you can't manage that, and this was another point in the article, do not close the blinds and retreat to the comfort of your bed with a blanket over your head. Don't do it. Turn on all the lights, open the blinds, open the windows, get some light, get some fresh air, and I promise you, you will feel better, even if it's artificial light. You're going to stay lying on your couch in the dark a lot longer than you're going to stay there with all the lights on and the blinds open. She also talked about music. If you're feeling fine now, do me a favor, go make a little playlist. Make it on your phone, make it on Groove Shark of the happiest, goofiest songs in the world. You know the ones that make you like use your toothbrush like a microphone and sing straight into the bathroom mirror? Those are the ones I'm talking about. For me, <laughs> I tried, played a little Little Richard, uh, and uh, you know it didn't get me off the couch, but it, it did cheer me up. Uh, you know, a little tutti frutti o Rudy, a little good golly Miss Molly. When you hear that little Richard hoot, that hoo! When you hear that, I promise you, it will pick, it will pick you up. It will lift your spirits and it will put a little hop in your step. Uh, she also mentioned animals. I'm not talking goldfish. Think furry with four legs, a cat, a dog, whatever. Spend a little time with them and that will pick your spirit. Especially, I got two dogs. 
Uh, I will introduce them to you guys at some point in a future video. Just sit with them. They have such unconditional love for you that that will help. Uh, the author also talked about goals. It can be simple. You have something on your to-do list you've been meaning to do forever. Uh, whether, <clears throat> whether it's windexing the windows, scrubbing that ring out of your bathtub, or rearranging that closet that you've been meaning to rearrange for God knows how long, do that thing. For me, I just thought about my goals. I thought about this channel, and I thought about the consequences of me not getting back to working on it. Uh, I thought about what it would be like if a video didn't go out on a day it had gone out on the previous few weeks. I got a pretty rough schedule, but I try my hardest to keep to it. And uh, the thought of not keeping to it, of one of you guys going online looking for some video and it's not where you think it's going to be, that thought motivated me. In this vlog, guys, I usually have a drink in my hand. I joke about the amount of booze I consume, but the truth is I'm a pretty light drinker. But when you're feeling depressed, alcohol will definitely not help. Any kind of self-medicating. <clears throat> whether you take, you know, a pain pill, whether you smoke a joint, or whether you like a beer, a glass of wine, or a shot of whiskey, none of those things are really going to help you when you're down. Uh, you are falling into a really familiar pattern, uh, and, you know, breaking patterns is what will help you. I've been feeling better for a week. I have not quit drinking. I enjoy a beer at the end of a long day. But sort of symbolically, I've set that aside because, like I said, I'm talking to the people who might be feeling terrible now. They might be feeling like they can't do anything, like they're a failure. <clears throat> and not cracking a beer well, is probably going to help out. I mentioned the things that help me uh, working was one. It's not something that's really mentioned in the article, but that spat of depression uh, started at the beginning. <clears throat> that spat of depression started at the end of a work week for me. Um, I think I got to spend four days feeling that way without any serious commitments, things I couldn't put off like work. Uh, I think I got to spend four days uh, wallowing in that self-pity and um, getting back to work. After the four days of laying on the couch, I had four days at work and I couldn't miss them. I work in a busy restaurant. Uh, my shortest shifts are, you know, nine hours. Uh, the longer ones are closer to 12. Uh, and you're on your feet the whole time. You don't really get a break. Going back to work really helped me. So uh, if you've been calling in sick because you're feeling the way you're feeling, force yourself to go in uh, and it'll help. And barring that, do what I was talking about, rearrange your goddamn closet, and it will, it will change things for you. Um, but the thing that really helped me out was talking to someone about it. And there's only one person I, I really thought of, uh, and that's my little sister. She just finished uh, university for um, counseling, you know, and that is basically psychology, but without the ability to write a prescription. Uh, and she was in, uh, I can't remember, Italy or Croatia at the time, on vacation. Modern technology helped again. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to talk to her for another six days. And we were able to chat. We used Viber, uh, which is an iPhone app, and we're able to chat for free, no matter where in the world both people are. Uh, and she talked me through it a little bit. That helped me more than going for a walk, more than Tutti Frutti O Rudy, more than both those adorable dogs over there, uh, and more than the sunlight. <laughs> it helped me more than focusing on my goals because she's a pro. I mean, she's a brand new pro. She just finished her master's, but, you know, she's learned a lot and she helped me out. And uh, if you only do one thing I've talked about today, forget all the 10 things on the list. Go find somebody you care deeply about and you know cares deeply about you. Tell them how you're feeling and I promise you, 
just getting it off your chest will help. Even if they, all they can do is listen, that will help. I hope that this hasn't been too much of a bummer. Guys, I hope you're liking what I'm doing. This video, like I said, is a departure. It is definitely different than my gaming content. Uh, and most gamers do not vlog at all. And beyond that, it's different than the vlogs that I've been doing uh, every couple of weeks. Uh, so I'll do a channel update in the near future. I'll talk to you guys about the vlog and you can let me know what you wanna see. Uh, are you here for vlogging? Or are you here for gaming and you happen to be d cool with watching a vlog from one of your, uh, one of your favorite gamers? Uh, <laughs> but this video is what it is. It is serious. I hope you guys like it. I hope you don't hate it. If you're watching this video and you're thinking of leaving this channel and never coming back, or you're thinking of unsubscribing, this isn't what the channel's about. But once in a while, uh, hopefully you guys will be cool with me talking about something serious. If you like this, if this relates to you in any way, hit that like button and I'll know that I should keep doing stuff like this. Um, thank you so much for watching, geeks. I love you all, especially the peeps who are coming and checking out this vlog. It is the most personal of my series. Uh, this series usually features me having a drink. Today, it is just water. Um, so, I usually cheers you guys at the end of it. Cheers. Hopefully y'all are enjoying something more interesting than water. But symbolically today, because of the topic, I did not want to be drinking. But until next time, guys, I'm United Clans, and I will see all y'all in the next episode of Drinking By Myself in a couple of weeks. Yes. Good lord.